and welcome to this episode of the Technology Guide. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what Mac you should buy in mid-2019. Let's go. All right, guys, so jumping right into today's video, we're going to be comparing the 13-inch MacBook Pro base model and a slightly upgraded Mac Mini, as these two machines are the best value in Apple's Mac lineup right now. If you are in the market for an everyday Mac computer, these are the two Macs you should buy, as they are perfectly fine for most people. So let's go over the specs of these computers to find out which Mac is best for you. Uh, starting off at the 13 inch MacBook Pro base model, this machine does cost $1,299. And for the price, you are getting a 1.4 gigahertz quad core eighth generation Intel Core i5 processor, which has a turbo boost up to 3.9 gigahertz. Now screaming off the page right now is that quad core name. Quad core is much better than dual core when it comes to processors. Just a few years ago, you had to pay more than $2,000 to get a quad core Mac, but now it has come all the way down to $1,299. This processor is absolutely great for the price. Now, if you do know a little bit about computers, you would kind of get scared about that 1.4 gigahertz clock speed, but what really saves this processor is that really high turbo boost. And as seen as some tests done on YouTube, I'll link one down in the description below. This processor usually idles around 2.6 to 2.7 gigahertz, and it really never hits that 1.4 base so you should be absolutely fine this is a great processor for the price now let's talk about the ram some people think that you need a lot more than eight gigabytes of ram in 2019 but for most tasks it's completely fine now let's move on to the storage this is the only thing that you might need to upgrade on this computer depending on your workflow but i have some ways to get around it as 120 gigabytes of ram is really not a lot what i strongly recommend is you move to cloud storage to store all your documents or photos or things that doesn't necessarily need to be stored on the computer. I use Google Drive to store most of my files nowadays and I'm rarely ever using the actual storage on my computer unless it's for video files. Now, if you want to save money, I recommend a portable SSD. These are extremely cheap these days. I use one by Samsung. I'll leave it down in the description below and I use that SSD to store all my main video files as I don't want to clog up the space on my computer as I only have the same 128 gigabytes. So this is the only thing you might need to spend a little bit of extra money on depending on what you do. But for most people, I think it's completely fine. Now let's move on to the main reason why you are buying a laptop and that is you get a retina display, keyboard and mouse device built in. The Mac mini does not come with any of those things. You have to supply it on your own. This computer comes with a great display, keyboard, and trackpad built in. Graphics on this computer is kind of a sore spot because it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card, which is much better. This computer has an integrated graphics card, but it's really not bad as these are new upgraded Intel Iris Plus Integrated Graphics 645. Moving on to ports. Once again, another sore spot of this computer as it only has two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports. Most people want to plug in a USB flash drive. They want to plug in a mouse, they have an SD card, and most things that you want to actually plug into this computer, you will need an adapter for that looks like this popping up on the screen now. And I will leave this adapter down in the description below so that you can easily get your old ports back. All right, so let's move on to the Mac Mini. This computer costs $200 more than the Mac Pro as it does cost $1,499. So let's go into the hardware. You are getting a 3.2 gigahertz, six core, eighth generation Intel Core i7 with a turbo boost up to 4.6 gigahertz. Now on paper, this processor is much better in pretty much every single way then the processor, which is on the MacBook Pro. You are getting a six core processor, which is an i7. You are getting a 3.2 gigahertz clock speed compared to the 1.4. And you're getting a turbo boost up to 4.6 gigahertz. Guys, this processor is absolutely insane. And just a few years ago, once again, you would be paying much more than $2,000 to get anywhere near this processor. It is an absolutely great processor. Now, I did upgrade the RAM on this computer, like I said. 
This computer would cost $1,299, but I paid an extra $200 to upgrade the RAM. Or whenever I see a computer which has an i7, I always wanted to have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. The more RAM, the better. If you have more RAM, you can simply uh, do more at once on your computer, and the animations and simply just the workflow on your computer will just run smoother. I definitely recommend upgrading the RAM if you are upgrading to the i7, as it just makes sense. All right, now let's talk about the graphics. The graphics on this computer are actually a little bit worse than the MacBook Pro as the MacBook Pro is a more updated model. So graphics, once again, kind of a sore spot. You can get an external graphics card if you really need better graphics. You also are getting uh, better storage on this computer as you're getting more of it. This computer comes with 256 gigabytes of storage. But once again, if you need more, I wouldn't actually upgrade it. I would simply just try to use as much cloud storage as you can or get those external SSDs. Now let's talk about one of my favorite things when it comes to the Mac Mini and that is the port selection. On this computer you were getting an Ethernet port, USB-C ports, you were getting USB 3 ports, you were getting all the ports that you need to get most work done. The port selection is much better on the Mac Mini than it is on the MacBook Pro. So there's one thing that I haven't talked about yet, and that is whether you need portability or not. The biggest downside to the Mac Mini is that it's not as portable as a MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro, you can simply just close it up and take it wherever you need, and that's why I decided to buy a MacBook Pro in the first place. The Mac Mini is small enough where if you needed to take it to other people's house, you can simply just put it in a bag, but you would also need to carry around a mouse, your power cable, your keyboard, and maybe even even a small display if you can't plug it into a TV or something like that. You have to decide whether you are simply just going to leave your computer on a desk all day or if you're going to need to take your work with you. I still need to decide whether I am willing to risk the portability of the MacBook Pro to get the slightly upgraded performance of the Mac Mini. So anyway guys, that is going to be for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. And again guys, until next time, we'll see you later. A goodbye. Bye.